before we get into today's video, I wanted to talk about one of the best ways to save money on Ebony packs today. We all know that buying packs is the best way to turbocharge your growth, and it's always better to save money while getting the same rewards. From August 6th to September 3rd, U.S. customers can get 20% back on all Ebony purchases made through the Amazon App Store. To take advantage of this awesome deal, follow three simple steps. Number one, install the Amazon App Store on your Android device or Bluestacks emulator. Number two, download Ebony through the Amazon App Store. And number three, Purchase packages in Ebony to get 20% back in Amazon coins. I have put a link to this website in the description of the video. This website includes QR codes to download and buy Amazon coins and an in-depth set of instructions on how to get Amazon App Store set up. Make sure you take advantage of this amazing deal while it lasts. Hello everyone, welcome back to Optimize Ebony. This is going to be the first uh, of the series of uh, revitalizing the leveling up your buffs series that I had done uh, earlier this year. Uh, if you have not checked out the, the first, I believe, four that I released, uh, definitely go back and, and check them out uh, because there is a lot of good information in there. Uh, and most of the information is still valid, uh, even though obviously there have been changes in Ebony since that time. Uh, but today I really wanted to talk about the Senate and how you optimize your Senate to give you the most buffs for what you need. Uh, so the Senate is, um, there's there's two pieces of the, of the Senate. I'm, I'm not really going to talk about soul binding. Uh, I think at that at this point, um, I, I've done some other videos on them and stuff like that. I'm really only talking about the this part of the Senate, which is the titles, uh, and then you know the the actual um, the people that you the generals that you put in here, uh, and then you know upgrading the positions and then the promotions. So uh, yeah, let's let's start off first with how you actually unlock these things. Um, so this top tier is all based on Senate level. So basically every two levels, uh, you can um, you can unlock a a new um, a new spot in in this top tier, um, and so I think most people are able to unlock you know this this first uh, one the governor, uh, and then commander I think gets a little bit tricky, and marshal gets very tricky uh, because it's also tied to the victory column requirements. So some of the victory column requirements are pretty intense. Uh, like you can see, I, I'm i kind of stuck at level 10 uh, where I need three level or three 11 million or above power generals at the same time and uh, 15 of, uh, and 18 uh, 10 star generals. So the 10 star generals, I'll get there eventually, probably in, in a couple months. Um, but the the 11 million generals, uh, I think at this point, uh, one, what would help would be getting to K45, uh, having all all kind of max general, max dragons on your generals, uh, max cultivation, those kind of things. Um, and then also having really good uh, refined gear that is... It, I mean, really, at this point, it needs to be Civ gear, and it needs to be um, at least a few of the pieces need to be amplified uh, to get to this 11 million mark. I could maybe get to one general at 11 million based on some of the gear that I've amplified, but it's it's going to be a slog to get uh, three there at at the same time. Uh, I might have to you know switch around gear, dragons, whatnot. Uh, but definitely do that if if you're blocked on you know the power of the general definitely try and get it by switching around gear uh, if you can do that or kind of make a plan on how you're going to uh, get there whether that's leveling the general um, you know uh, getting switching around gear or you know doing uh, refining or um, or, or things like that, or or enhancing it, uh, ascending it. So, uh, yeah, 
that's that's kind of how you level for those first three then for the bottom three the first one the first tree is svs uh basically you have to win and then get you know 540 720 or 700 maybe uh, a million and two million or two billion points two million I, I don't i don't remember what the what the scale of that is uh but uh because i i actually got lucky and and have unlocked that all uh, it is kind of a slog it is not easy to do um but yeah de definitely chip away at it and if you are leading in svs um you can you can you know d if if it's not going to jeopardize the lead or you know if you have like a a good buffer you can decide to make some like even hits you know where you might not make make those hits just to get you past that threshold um uh, assuming that you know you're not messing screwing over your teammates or anything like that ruling senator is uh bog wins uh so you basically need a certain amount of points and you need to win um my team has not been doing so great on the winning side uh and so that's why i haven't unlocked these the points are, are actually no big deal for me i typically get at least this this amount of points um but yeah so that that's that's how you unlock those two the ruling senator and the honorary senator uh so let's let's actually talk about the uh, first, let's talk about the promotions. So you can see that I have uh, promoted this one twice. Uh, this one's more of an attacking uh, promotion. The second one is going to be a defending one primarily. There are some attacking stuff, but um, primarily defending. Um, Marshall is, is mostly attacking in rally uh, again. Uh, again, there's you know some debuffs and, and stuff like that. Uh, this is again mostly attacking. So most of them are are actually attacking. Um, it's really only that second one that's that's really a more of a defense focused one. And even that one still has some attacking uh, things. So, and then this last one is in battlefield attacking one primarily. There, I guess, as you get further down some of them aren't specific to to battlefield uh but yeah just just basically try and figure out where you're looking to go like if you're primarily an, an attacking keep i would recommend doing one of the attacking ones if you're but most people need to focus on defense first and so you know i would promote commander first out of all of them uh, so then once once you have that, uh, once you've unlocked these slots, make sure you at least have five star generals that that count here. Um, you know, you can you can easily uh, choose who is going to be able to go here. Uh, basically, they need to be a, a ground mount, you know, archer or siege specific general. Um, and then uh, based on the number of stars, they will unlock these these buffs. I'm sure most of you guys already know this, uh, but let's actually talk about how do you actually optimize these buffs. So there's kind of two ways that you can do this, right? You can slowly level the, you can slowly level this. So like, let's say you get one star on this guy and, you know, one star on all of these, uh, that's one way, uh, or you can max them out. So you know, you can see I have a Hannibal here that is that is fully ascended. Uh, that was my old uh, Mount General, so uh, it made sense to just use him here. Uh, and that's that's kind of what you'll see a lot of a lot of players doing is the older generals that they've switched out of uh, will go in the Senate because they're you know, they're fully ascended. Um, but so basically. Yeah, there's there's these two different approach. Either you try and max a single a single general out, or you go slow but slowly and you know add one star at a time to basically each different general. And which approach you take is going to be depending on what primarily you're doing in Ebony. If you are primarily defending, I would recommend going the one one star at a time approach uh, because it gets a lot more expensive to, you know, for three, four, five star uh, a general than it is to add the first one to it or the second one to it. Um, and so you can get some really decent buffs uh, without 
without needing to spend a ton of blood of Ares or have a million copies of the general, because that's that's also a consideration here. Um, so, you know, let's say if you just did one star on all of these, you would have eight percent in city range troop attack, or uh, range troop HP, uh, in city siege HP eight percent, in city ground troop HP eight percent. And so basically all of this one is 8% for, for in-city in troop HP, uh, which is really good. And that's, that's actually going to be more beneficial to a lot of players that are defending more frequently than, than maxing out a single one. Uh, because that's, you know, it, one that's going to require more blood of Aries, more, more generals and stuff like that. But, uh, in general, it's 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 going to give you more buffs for for your blood of Ares and for your gems, generals, fragments, and stuff like that. On the flip side, if you are primarily an attacking player, you typically don't get the the attacking buffs until like this this three three star or five star um, uh, buffs, and so. I would recommend in that case, if you're an attacking player, to actually go and and max them out. Instead of instead of going the one by one approach, I would go what what happened with Hannibal, where you you just max it out right away. Because really, if you look at the one, two, and four, you're not getting any of that that when you're attacking, but you are getting three and five. And so that five star is is a huge huge improvement uh, when you're attacking, but it's not a big improvement when when you're you know I'm it's it's not it's not as worth it when you're when you're defending. It is still really good because you know it is ten percent uh, overall, uh, not not just specifically attacking, um, but it, yeah, it is it is a little bit less of a of a of a draw when you're when you're defending because you can get so many of these other buffs uh, so much easier for fewer uh, fewer stars here. So that's that's kind of my approach here. You can also do what I kind of did on this one, which is get to the three star and then stop. Uh, I would love to get this to the five star. I basically just, I think I ran out of the general fragments and I ran out of uh, the blood of Ares to actually do it. I think this was right around all stars when I was trying to Im imp improve my defensive buffs because you know I knew I was going to get rallied a lot. Um, and the other thing to point out here is one, you should always be using, unless you have enough copies of a general to uh, max ascend it, you should always be using tavern generals because there's no guarantee that you're going to be able to get a premium general uh, fragment or you know anything like that if you're if you don't already have all of the you know the 16 copies of them that it's needed to ascend them. But if you can get it from the tavern, yes, it's expensive in terms of gems and gold and stuff like that, but you do have an avenue to slowly build these up over time. So as a, for, for more low, low coiners or free to play players, definitely always use, use tavern generals. Uh, so Trajan, Hannibal actually is, is okay. Uh, Winfield Scott is a little bit more expensive. Um, Ulysses S. Grant or uh, there's, um, I believe a Chinese uh, general uh, somewhere. I might have him. Uh, there's also Sherman. Uh, and yeah, so you can see that I have an Aurelian here. Uh, this is actually one of the things that I do is because I I, I like the Blood of Ares event, uh, I get a lot of general tokens or general fragments from there. And Aurelian is one of the generals that I've been able to max ascend uh, based on just the the fragments there, so it, I didn't have to spin in the tavern for Aurelian. I got them, you know, just from from the Blood of Ares event. Um, so yeah, so basically, and the other the other good thing to point out here is that you can switch them around. Um, let's say you know, I I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh, uh, this one's actually better. I, I don't actually think that it is personally, but uh, let's say I wanted to switch it to that. I, I can always go in here and switch, you know, switch the the Aurelian 
um, and and get those those max buffs. The one thing I will point out is that when uh, when you are ascending them, always take them off and put them back on after you've ascended a star, uh, because I found that it doesn't it doesn't actually uh, take effect if you ascend it while it's while it's sitting in there. Uh, and so you don't you don't actually get those buffs. So uh, yeah, one 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 thing to to point out there. Uh, the other thing is the position level. So for the promotion that we talked about earlier, you have these requirements down here, uh, and that's basically each each position you know needs to be a certain level. So for example, to get to level four on this one, I'm not going there anytime soon because you can see eight thousand here. So I'm going to actually. Uh, move over to a few other other promotions, I think, before before I would do this one. Uh, but I would need to get the ground uh, and the mount levels to level 14. Uh, you can see that I already have the range one to level level 15, actually. And the siege one I don't need at all yet, but I have it at level 3. Uh, so you know you definitely need to need to be doing these. Do do them in a smart way so that you're 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 maximizing the number of promotions that you can do, but also the buffs that you want. So for example, this you can see that I, I really focused on this, this in-rally range troop attack, right? Because I am primarily attacking most of the time, and an, an extra 60% ra range troop attack is amazing. The other thing that you get is extra attributes per five levels. So I also get 4% range troop attack overall, so attend, uh, attacking and defending. Uh, I get a little bit of mount troop debuff, increase in range troop and siege HP, uh, and then range troop and siege attack plus 4%. So these are also really, really good buffs. Uh, obviously, you know, as you go further down, the max level is 30. Uh, so for example, for, for level 30, um, each each level here is is four, uh, so uh, thirty you know times four is one hundred and twenty in rally range troop attack that that I could be getting, and I probably will try to max this out a little bit more because because in rally range troop attack is is just really important. I've just been trying to balance doing that, but also uh, also balancing the promotion. So for example, I might want to promote this one uh, to get you know attacking troops attack in battlefield uh, because primarily I'm PvPing in battlefield uh, not so much outside of outside of battlefield except for SVS and I would rather have better buffs in battlefield because you I, I PvP like five times as much in battlefield than I do outside of uh, battlefield so these are kind of all of the different things that you need to kind of focus on while you are uh, looking at your Senate. So again, to just do a quick recap, uh, kind of pick the, the promotions that make sense for you. Uh, if you're looking for defense ones, I would recommend Commander, at least for the first couple, um, because they do give pretty decent uh, defense buffs. And then also upgrading the, the position levels to align with obviously those promotions, but then also to uh, to to focus on the buffs that you want to you want to focus on. So for example, maybe you're maybe you're looking for uh, you're you're taking a lot of siege rallies or siege solos. You want to increase your uh, in city siege ma machine HP and range troop HP, uh, you can you can level this one. Obviously, you can see <laughs> this one's level 20 for me. I've spent quite a lot on on that, uh, but I haven't even focused on this in city range troop attack. So there probably is a balance of I should probably go back and at least get a, a few levels on each one of these. You know, again, I can get to level five and get a a four percent range troop attack overall buff. Uh, which is going to help in attacking as well. So uh, this it definitely is a balance, but you have to focus on what is going to be most impactful for you, whether it's defense, whether it's offense, and then also come up with a strategy on how you're going to start ascending generals for uh, for these positions, so that you can you can unlock these buffs and decide whether you're an attacking keep or you're a defending keep, and then you know. Uh, 
implement that that strategy there. And then of course you can always move these around um, and uh, and get different buffs based on what you need. So I'll I've I have known people to switch around buffs based on like oh like it's SVS and I know I'm going to take a siege rally, uh, so I'm going to try and maximize my siege HP or or something like that. Uh, but yeah, in general, there's you know there's ones that I prefer. Um, and so just look through the buffs here. I'm not going to go through all of them because this has already been a fairly long video. Um, but uh, you can you can kind of play around with them and and figure out which buffs are are, are the best ones for you. That's all I have for you guys today. Uh, I hope this this helped with with your Senate uh, problems. Uh, and uh, as usual, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.